Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, all you beautiful souls. It is another beautiful day here in South Florida, another beautiful day to pause for peace, peace for our body, peace for our mind, peace for our souls, peace for the world. So thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to pause and breathe and connect with yourself, to connect with each other, and to feel timeless and vast and free. Uh, good morning, Mark. Good morning, Shiny Hippie. Good morning, John John. Good morning, Slow and Gorshek and CBR and Car and Fire and Skeptic <laughs> and Rob. Thank you for joining in our sweet Vera. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining me here on par uh, Facebook. I appreciate that as well. Um, so we are, it's Sunday morning. We're just going to wait for a few people to pop in and then we will, we're going to do our sun, our yoga sequence. We're going to do it on our backs again. It's Sunday morning. I thought you guys would appreciate to still be laying down. Although I'm feeling more energetic today than I did yesterday. <laughs> I'm happy to report. Happy to report. Good morning, sweet Dindy. Good morning, you beautiful soul. I hope you're doing well. Yay. And I also am happy to report, kind of, that I've heard since I've been sitting here, I've heard two mangoes drop. Two mangoes. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's time to harvest the mangoes. <laughs> Our Yogi Tea Inspiration says today, love is to live for somebody. Love is not to live with somebody. That's what they said. <laughs> So if you hear a loud uh, pop, that is uh, a mango falling. And what you're hearing now, that noise is a squirrel. I think he's yelling at me. <laughs> or he's saying, those are my mangoes. <laughs> you can't have any. My tea is the perfect temperature, I have to say. It's the perfect temperature, so I'm going to have another sip. So good thing we decided to do a gentle yoga sequence on our backs because um, sometimes I've noticed now that I've been taking sips before my yoga that I, I feel it as I'm practicing. <laughs> All right, you beautiful people of the world. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Let's uh, grab a spot. Uh, we're gonna lay on our backs. Uh, we're gonna do a few physical practices and then I'll guide you to a meditation as you lay down. I'll sit back up after, but I want you to keep laying down, but that's up to you. If you wanna sit up, you can do that too. Um, I just think uh, Sunday morning, I think it's nice to be able, especially when someone tells you that it's okay to lay down and relax. I think it uh, feels really good, uh, like someone's giving you permission. Like we need permission for some reason. Um, good morning, Rick. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, you beautiful souls. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I think it's interesting. My friend Rick is on Facebook with me and he posted a, <laughs> a, a like meme or whatever you call it on Facebook yesterday that said, uh, my idea of my, my wife has in quarantine and it's, uh, you know, them all cuddling and, uh, having some good quality time, husband and wife. No, that was his idea, <laughs> and her idea was him doing projects. And I have to say, Rick, that that was uh, I, my husband's been doing lots of projects too. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Good morning, Andrea. All right, let's see if the squirrel wants to do some yeah chores, chores, the t honey do list, the honey do this, the honey do that. Lesbians. So find a spot on your back. Looks like we need to get farther away. Make sure you can see me. We extend our arms and legs all the way out. Take a nice long deep stretch, breathing deeply and exhale slowly. And just go ahead and lower the hands down and let's point the toes and then inhale as we raise the hands and flex the feet and exhale as we point and lower down inhaling deeply 
and exhaling slowly. Just take a few nice, long, slow, deep breaths in and a few nice, long, slow exhalations out. Breathing in and out through the nose. Directing the breath across the back of the throat. Allow your movements to be tied to the breath. Breathing in deeply. Exhaling slowly. Taking two more breaths. And then lower the hands and point the feet and just feel the support beneath you. Just allow your palms to face down. To feel the support of the earth beneath you. Again, allow it to take your weight. To feel your breath rise, to feel your breath fall, to know that you are unlimited. To be fully present right now within your own body, within your own being. Gently begin moving the head side to side, just warming up the neck. Unaffected by what's going on around you. Just sticking to the breath. To the rise, to the fall, to the awareness that you're breathing. And then lower the right ear over to the right side and pause. And just hold here. And take a moment to set your intention for your practice that positive statements said in the present tense. I am happy, I am healthy, I am whole, I am love, I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. And roll the left ear over to the left shoulder and pause here. Again, I am happy, I am healthy, I am whole, I am love, I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. Inhale back to center. Place your arms over the head and grab your elbows. And just pause here. I am happy, I am healthy, I am whole, I am love, I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. Inhale the head and chest over to the right side and pause here. Just feeling that gentle stretch on the left side of your body. Step your right foot back to center, your left foot back to center again. Feeling the gentle curve. And step in the left heel over the right. But only if that feels good to you. And just begin taking a few deeper breaths. Breathing in as deeply as you can and exhaling as slowly as you can and just Notice how that changes the posture. Just gaining that awareness of yourself. How the subtle breath changes how the pose feels. Stretching muscles and tissues and organs. Taking one more breath here. And then inhale back to center. Head and chest back to center. Stepping the left foot back to center. Right foot back to center. Taking a nice long deep breath in as you point the feet and extend out to the arms. And then inhale the head and chest up. As you grab, exhale and grab the elbows, step the feet over to the left side and pause here, just noticing and witnessing. And then step the right ankle over the left and pause here. And just 
breathe in and out through the nose. And begin to deepen your breath. Again, having awareness of how it changes the pose just by deepening the breath. Allow your right lung to expand as you breathe in deeply. Feel that stretch in the right side. Taking a few more breaths here. Then step the right foot back to center, the left foot back to center, head and chest back to center. Inhale, arms back up, deep breath in. And then exhale as you bring the left knee in the chest and the right knee in the chest and grabbing both knees and gently just rock side to side on that lower area of your spine, that flat part of your back, give it a little massage. And then grab behind the right thigh and extend the left leg all the way out. Right knee in the chest, you can use a strap or t-shirt or whatever you have handy, a belt, place behind your right thigh if you don't have the flexibility or your bones are limiting you from bringing your thigh to your chest. And then extend the right leg all the way up. Sitting out through both heels. Inhale and exhale as you bend the knee, lower the foot. Allow the right knee to fall open to the side. Tree pose on your back. Allow the hip to naturally open and release. Inhale and exhale as you bring the right knee up. Use the left hand, guide the knee over to the left side, extend out through the, in the spinal twist. Inhale and exhale as you roll back into your back, right knee in the chest, left knee in the chest, grabbing both knees. Inhale and exhale, chest to thigh. And then slowly lowering both feet down to your mat at hip distance apart. Place that right ankle on top of the left thigh and gently pull this left thigh into your chest. Inhale and exhale as you lower the chest foot down. Extend the right leg all the way up to the sky again. Inhale and exhale. Lower it down to the earth. Control before bringing both knees into your chest again. Grabbing both knees. Inhale and exhale, chest to thigh. Slowly lower down. Grab behind the left thigh. Extend the right leg all the way out. Pause here and hold. Extending out through both heels. Then the left leg all the way out, all the way up to the sky. Inhale and exhale, bend the knee, lower the foot. Allow the knee to fall open to the side, tree pose on your back. up again, grabbing the right knee, twisting over to the left right side and extending out through the left arm. Taking one more breath here. Inhale and exhale as you roll on your back, 
Left knee to chest, right knee to chest, grabbing both knees. Inhale and exhale, chest to thigh. Before slowly extending out the feet both down at hip distance apart. Placing the left ankle on top of the right thigh, grabbing behind the right thigh. Gently pull them in through your chest. and exhale as you slowly lower the foot to the earth extend the left heel all the way up to the sky deep breath in and exhale as you slowly and mindfully lower that leg all the way down bring both knees back into your chest again and grabbing both knees inhale and exhale chest to thigh before extending all the way back out into shavasana arms extended all the way up above your head we're going to flow back and forth as we raise our right arm and our left leg Inhaling as we lower down, exhaling as we raise the opposite leg and opposite arm, and then we're just going to flow side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Just moving to your own rhythm, your own rate of breath. Moving as fast or as slow as you want. Taking as deep a breath as you'd like. But try to breathe in as deeply as you can. Taking two more breaths. Taking one more breath. And inhale all the way back out. Nice long, deep stretch again. Inhale and exhale. Bring those knees into your chest again. Grab both knees. Inhale and exhale, chest to thigh. Before slowly lowering down. Lowering both knees over to the right side and extending out through the left arm in a spinal twist. Soften, release, and let go. And then inhale and exhale as you roll back into your back, knees into your chest, grabbing both knees. Taking a grounding breath here before lowering both knees over to the left side, extending out to the right arm. Take a deep breath in and a long exhalation out and then just allow your breath to kind of begin to soften. Inhale, and exhale as you roll on your back on your back, knees into your chest, grabbing both knees. Inhale, and exhale, chest to thigh, before slowly extending yourself all the way out into Shavasana, palms facing up, ready to receive, legs are extended, feeling all the places where your body touches the earth. I want you to feel your breath rise and feel your breath fall. I want you to feel the support of the earth beneath you. I want you to allow it to take your weight. Aware that you are breathing, alive with energy and vibration. Prana, that life force energy. And I want you to become aware of the sky above you. 
and the horizon stretching all the way around you. And I want you to use your mind and imagination to see yourself as unlimited. Unlimited. As you are unlimited, I want you to see yourself compressing all the energy around you together, the energy of within you, the energy all around you, the energy of nature, the energy of all living things. And compress it together into a bright shining ball of light that you bring over the crown of your head. And I want you to see this sphere of light glowing and spinning and just hovering above you. And I want you to feel all this good, rich energy coming to you and through you and for you as it slowly begins to move down into the top of your head. And as it does, you feel it warming and healing and nourishing you, sustaining you, bringing you everything that you need. And as it does, your forehead begins to soften, your eyes begin to relax, your cheeks and jaw release. And you feel this warm and chilly light flow all the way through your head and down your neck. And down into your shoulders. Down into your arms. And all the way down into the palms of your hands. All the way down into your fingertips. I want you to pause for a moment and feel that energy within the palms of your hands, that feeling that you are alive with energy and vibration. Feel your breath rise. Feel your breath fall. Know that you are breathing. Know that you're breathing and alive with energy and vibration. Feel the warm and healing light as it moves down your chest. Pausing at the center of your heart and just see if you can feel your heart beating. Beating with life. And feel the energy of all this good flowing down to you and through you and for you as it begins to move down into your abdomen. Down into your hips, down into your thighs, your knees, your shins, your ankles, and your feet. Just feel this wave of energy flowing down through you and to you and for you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And then feel it from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Just feel this wave-like energy flowing over you washing you down with, with healing energy, like glowing sensors all over your body. Filling you up with everything that you need. And as you lay here bathing in this warm and healing light, I want you to just take a moment to just be be, just be, just be as we stay here in a moment of silence, allowing everything to be just as it is.
time to come back. Back to the awareness of where you are. Back to the awareness of your body laying on the earth. Back to the awareness of the natural rhythm of your breath. And as you lay here fully supported by the earth, I want you to sense and imagine that warm, healing light showering down upon you still. Moving into every muscle, every tissue, every bone, every cell in your body. And I want you to see all that energy of light and love coming to you and through you and for you, expanding within you. Growing brighter and brighter with every breath. And I want you to feel this love on every level of your being. I want you to feel the peace on every level of your being. I want you to feel your strength on every level of your being. Growing brighter and brighter. You gently begin wiggling your fingers and toes. I want you to begin taking a few deeper breaths. And then inhaling your arms above your head for that nice, long, deep stretch. Lowering your arms down, bring your hands together at your heart center. You're still laying down on the ground. Roll yourself over to the right side, and then when you're ready, Press yourself up. We're going to pause here with our hands at heart center. Pause in gratitude. Grateful for this moment right now. Grateful for peace, for love, for good energy, and good vibrations. Again, feeling all this good, rich energy coming to you and through you and for you. Continue to be happy and healthy and whole. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. May you have peace with the past, peace with the present, and peace in the future right now. Peace, love, live long and prosper. Thank you all for being here for me. Thank you for taking the time to practice. Um, I hope you feel a little more uh, grounded and at peace than um, um, I know I do. So thank you for practicing with me. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, Laura and David and Andrea and on Facebook. <laughs> Good morning, all you beautiful souls on um, Periscope. Thank you so much again for practicing with me. Um, this is a daily practice we do every day at 7 a.m. So, yeah, perfect way to start the day. Perfect way to start the day. Thank you, Shiny Fifty. Um, so, if you're new to, to, my, to me in this practice, please follow me. If you're not following me now, I practice every day at 7 a.m. And like Shiny Hippie said, it's a great way to start the day. Why not cultivate the peace within, right? So that we're peaceful beings out in this world. Especially if you're out there uh, affecting... Uh, you know, the people around you. You hear the fountain again? <laughs> I know, Mama Terry, it's, uh, it's started again. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll write to my neighbors, maybe their mail will get forwarded, and I'll send them my phone number, and then I'll ask them about the mangoes too. <laughs> but I'll tell them about their water uh, sprinkler meaning repair, so they're not wasting water. Hey, all about Jess, good morning to you. Good morning, beautiful soul. I want to shout out to Abu and to Ali and to Shiny Hippie, Nabir and Terry, and I am Beringer, to Jess, to Mark Prince, to JJ, JJ's in the house, to Ross, to John Firebeach, to um, Sweet Tina Thorne, to Papa Murphy, to Luis, Paulo, to Varas, Fernandez, thank you for being here, to Farzad, Farzazi, 
to Sergio Santos, Diego, Pepe, and to all of you that it's not show me. Yes, ask if you can help trim the mangoes from the tree. <laughs> I will. I will. Good morning, Roar Warren. Good morning to you. Uh, yeah, Tina, shout out to Ali Nabu. Uh, let's also shout out to um, Zen Butterfly, to Pamela Jean, to um, all you beautiful souls. Scrolling back on my comments, <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> um, uh, Ross is closing the store down this week, tomorrow if possible. There's some butterfly. Good morning, good morning, you beautiful souls. I want to thank you all for all the shares and tweets and retweets. I want to thank you all for um, being with me. Farjour, Mohammed. Bonjour. Thank you, John, for the super hearts. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a bonjour. Ça va? Bien. It is another beautiful day, I have to tell you. I don't know about you guys, but yesterday I did a lot of cleaning, <laughs> but I did not uh, do any anything on my computer, so that felt really good. I took a computer day off, and I think I'm going to do a, that again today. Um, well, I did I did post a few videos on YouTube, but that was easy. I let my phone while my phone was on the charger, charging from after this broadcast, I posted them. Although I think I realized last night that. I made them private for some reason and I couldn't fix it, so maybe it's good. You've been cleaning like crazy also, Jess? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it felt really good. I still have more to do. I still have more to do um, inside. I'll get that done this morning and then, um, let's see. I'm just allowing myself a little rest. I think I needed it. So I hope you guys rest too if you need it. It's a toggle. <laughs> Facebook and all are your only connection to anyone, says Ross. I know, it's crazy, isn't it, Ross? Thank goodness for um, for the internet and for, for uh, being able to see each other live. Push it on and again to turn off. Okay. Thank you, Mama Terry, for those super hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... I was reading someone else's, uh, I don't know if it was an email pushed to me or on Twitter or wherever I saw it, but uh, someone had the, because uh, I know a lot of us are complaining about um, being stranded in um, by ourselves and uh, having to stay home, um, but they uh, reminded me of uh, Anne Frank who sat um, for two years, you know, in the basement without any any Netflix or social media. <laughs> I mean, so we we can be grateful for for what we have. So that's what we always need to do. For limited comments, it will stay on until you turn it on and back off. All right, we'll do. So anyway, just that reminder to, to be grateful for what we have, right? To sit and um, in gratitude for what we have right now. Even if uh, the only thing we can be grateful for right now is the fact that we're breathing and alive. That we have beans in the pantry or whatever we have. A roof over our head. Just sit, just sit with what you have to be grateful for. Does meditation really help to become kinder? It really does. Because when you meditate, you calm the body, uh, you begin to, uh, yeah, beach to yourself. You get to uh, begin to uh, think before acting and instead of just reacting to every situation. So you can take a moment to have compassion for whoever it is, knowing that they themselves may be going through something. I don't know about you, but I tend with, if I'm overwhelmed, that stuff going on, around you that I, I do tend to still react. Um, 
at times. So you have to have that awareness of that when other people are have a lot going on, they do the same thing. You have a lot of the negative emotions that have accumulated out of yours, yeah. So start practicing with us. We brought we practice every day at 7 a.m. We do a little yoga and meditation, and um, hopefully it will help. Um, I believe it will. When you can start releasing and letting go of those negative emotions, because it only uh, your own, it only hurts yourself. I know because I I did that myself for many many years for over a decade, <laughs> and it's um. And it's hard to think it's that cliche of uh, um, that you people say, oh yeah, you gotta let it go for yourself, but you truly do because it's almost like drinking a poison and then expecting the other person to die. They're fine, they're going off, but you're sitting there stewing in your own negativeness and you feel it in your body, you feel it on every level of your being and you become tight and angry and sad and you're hurting yourself um, mentally and physically and so it's like holding on to something and expecting them to hurt because you want them to so for yourself you have to let it go so the trick is in the meditation is to mind those thoughts to remember to remember that what you're thinking and that you yourself are, are poisoning yourself you yourself are torturing yourself by what you're saying and so you have to remember to remember to shift those thoughts to something good something positive that's going on in your life like um like a beautiful day or the flower of a weed or the sound of wind chimes um, whatever you have be grateful for that and again always come back to the breath there's always something huge to be grateful for our breath is something huge to be grateful for we can go a long time without food or water but we can't go very long without our breath so um just always sit in gratitude of that and it's the best way to bring you into a meditation as well, to ground you in the present moment, to feel your breath, uh, the sensation and the sound, the rhythm. Right. Just follow the breath and sit in gratitude of it. Sit in gratitude of the breath, feel your breath rise, feel your breath fall, and begin to lengthen the breath. As your breath lengthens and you begin to breathe in deeply, you'll get a sense of peace and calm. <laughs> Blinky Bill, you're on a roll. <laughs> I saw, um, sorry, I, Blinky Bill just said, did she say we to, to Mark Prince? And I saw, I was, uh, watch Mama Terry's replay while I was making my tea this morning and, uh, Blinky Bill remembered to tell Mama Terry happy birthday, so... If you ever run for public office, all those internet postings will come back to haunt you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's okay. Well, now you know better. When we know better, we do better. And that's continually throughout our lives, right? We always think we're doing the right thing, right? I don't think anyone intentionally says, oh, I'm going to do this because I know it's wrong. We think we're doing the right thing. And so we need to have compassion for everyone who makes mistakes or put something out there that they don't want to that um, at the time they thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah, Blinky Bill always remembers. He's the best. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Until they know better or until we know better, we need to have compassion for everyone. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, you beautiful soul. <laughs> Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, you beautiful soul. Thank you so much for being here with me, alive on Facebook. We're just, uh, uh, we did a little yoga meditation and now we're just kind of chatting, um, listening to the sound of the neighbor's um, waterfall. Good morning, K911. Good morning, you beautiful soul. Yeah, Blinky Bill always remembers. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. Yogi T says, in every moment of life, you should be what you ought to be. I love that one. In every moment of life, you should be what you ought to be. So whatever it is that you're, uh, the life that you want to be living, if you're not living that right now, <laughs> 
I want you to think of the energy or how you would feel if you were living that life. You know, and feel that energy. And I want you to feel it right now and take that energy with you wherever you go. Like you wish you were uh, had the life of being on a private beach, <laughs> watching the sunrise, um, taking a nice long walk, being a mountain climber, sitting at a cafe in Paris, whatever it is that your heart's called to do, what you long to do. Um, just feel that feeling of that energy that you want to have and just be what you ought to be. Feel that energy. You can be that now. You can tap into that energy now just by using your thoughts and imagination. Right? You can have that now and that's what the whole practice is about. Having, um, being what you ought to be. We don't really actually need to go to all those places. We don't need to go to the beach. We don't need to be at the cafe in Paris. We can have that feeling right now where we are. We just have to tap into it and um, create that energy within us. And I guarantee if you do that, more good things and more energy, good energy will start coming to you. And you'll be happier. You'll move about life in a happier, more peaceful way. You love my sunglasses? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Are you in a garden? Yes and no. I'm in, I'm in my backyard. I'm in Boca Raton, Florida. And um, I do have some orchids here. And this coconut palm, some little flowers here. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't call it a it's a garden in progress but yes I like to think of it as a garden <laughs> I like to see it as my private oasis and imagining it being beautiful and being beautiful it is because we believe it is. Yes, I am happily married. Happily married. I'm happy to be here. I'm thinking the neighbors don't realize there's sprinklers of waterfall. Yeah, I'm going to write them, Dina. I decide I'll write them today and I'll ask them, I'll tell them about their sprinkler and um uh oh it just went off and the mangoes i'm writing them because they're not there so i'm hoping their mail's getting forwarded and i know someone comes and does their yard work so they'll have someone come and fix that as well that's worth a few mangoes it is and then i'll give them my phone number and then i'll have it that would be awesome brilliant idea <laughs> brilliant idea i have to say so myself <laughs> hey Ross thank you for those hearts <laughs> so I think it, it is Sunday so um, I think it's probably getting close to time where uh, Andrea is does her yoga class I want to be um, watching that I don't know if she's going to be on Periscope or she's going to be doing that on um, um on Facebook we'll have to see you're tapping on the screen thank you Ross thank you for those hearts I love it I appreciate it thank you thank you thank you yeah so let's uh, we'll move into our circle of love it's our the ending meditation we do every day and um, with you if you're looking for Andrea's broadcast like I will be uh, she's grasshopper yogi if you are looking for her on Facebook um, so let's sit up tall Let's breathe in deeply and exhale slowly. And with every breath you take, just feel your heart growing brighter and brighter.
Build with love, build with light as strongly as you can. Breathing in peace and exhaling love. And breathing in love and exhaling peace. Allow this light within that we've been showering down upon us the whole broadcast. Just feel that light showering down upon you again. Again, moving down into every muscle, every tissue, every cell of your body. Feel like the light growing on every level of your being. Growing with peace, with love, with good energy. As we breathe in peace, and exhale love and breathing in love and exhaling peace breathing in peace and exhaling love to everyone here watching live or on replay and breathing that peace and love back in you know with every exhalation out you're giving you're giving to everyone here as you inhale allow yourself to receive have that awareness that you are truly giving to everyone. You feel your heart expanding in all directions. You feel yourself giving on every level of your being to everyone here because you are love. You are compassion. And that same love and compassion, I want you to allow yourself to receive that love and that good energy and good vibration. Allow yourself to receive. Know that you are giving as one and receiving from many giving as one and receiving from many and because it feels so good we want to share this peace and love and good energy and good vibration with everyone around us so yourself giving to your friends and your family and your neighbors the guy down the street and just see everyone being showered down upon with love and light This usually takes me a while because I have a big family and I always use my mind and imagination to picture each and every one of them. And I see them as like this light and showered of golden rays of light showering down upon them like a little rain shower of uh, invisible blessing, of peace and love. good energy and good vibrations. And then let's share this peace and love and good energy to the country that we live in. And then let's join hands and join hearts as we circle the world circle the world with a global hug of peace and love. And may all of us continue to be happy and healthy and whole. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Again, may you have peace in the past, the present, and the future. May the divinity in me honor and salute the divinity in you. Namaste. Namaste. Abundant and abundant blessings to each and every one of you. Hey, Tim. Peace, love, live long and prosper. Mahalo. Thank you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I love you. Make it a good one. Bye. Hi, Holistic Deb. Love you too. Now you have 75 cents and tips. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll sit in gratitude of that and, um, and see it growing into more. Wish you all the best. Abundant blessings. See you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Bye, Blinky Bill. Bye, everyone.